Hello. How you doing? I'm excited. Because of recent news. So, uh, while I don't normally play Xenoblade <laughs> on the Tuesday morning streams, I'm playing Xenoblade today. Also, I woke up a little late, so I'm still eating breakfast. Hey, Cloud, how you doing? Right, we wanted to try to do the teach side quest. That's right. You got your package today at 6 in the morning. That's gross. That is too early. Right. We've really been trying to do our best. Didn't realize how hard it was to hammer things into folk, though. It's gratifying to see you acknowledge how much work I put into it, sir. You're just a big bag of lectures, aren't you? Either that or snide remarks. <laughs> you're such a lively bunch. I can see why you're so popular. Um, leaving that aside for a moment, is the training going to continue? Ah, uh, yes, about that. I do believe that the time to apply the finishing touches is approaching. Finishing touches? You mean... Yes. We're going to perform large-scale maneuvers that encapsulate everything we've done so far. Yeah? Large-scale maneuvers? Now we're talking. Do you think they'll be up to scratch when we've completed these maneuvers, Teach? I'd say so. Especially if all of you are prepared to participate as well. Of course. So when do we start? Right now. Huh? Actually, to be honest with you, the preparations for the maneuvers are already complete. That was a hair all material. That's gross. To get everyone over to the designated location, in fact. You've got everything squared away ahead of time. Ah, oh, that's so crafty. You see, I anticipated that you'd reach the end of the exercises at around this point in time. Teach can be a touch pushy sometimes. Because this guy is the leader of this colony and he's like, Yeah, these guys need training. Do you mind helping? Because these are mostly newbies. No, I don't think so. I just have so much faith and confidence in your abilities. Well... Where should we go to get started? Do you know Everblight Plains? Yeah, of course. We've even been in a dust-up there, as I remember. The new recruits have already departed for the target location. They're probably there already. I'll share the full details of the maneuvers once we've rendezvoused with the rest of the forces. about is it's ever blight plains well then shall we set out i know where this is this is like mad far away so there are people that wants to kill you and you decide to train but yeah <clears throat> a lot of people want us dead to be fair that is a whole battalion present and correct then I'll proceed with the mission briefing before we start please turn your attention upward for a moment upward oh a number of containers 
containers arranged by me for the purpose of this maneuver have just this moment made landfall. Foot, Zakir, and Kyrie. Your squads will get to the containers and recover the contents. Quick as you can. What about us? You're going to be acting as an enemy. You'll do whatever you can to prevent the recruits from performing the recovery. Huh? We'll be fighting against Neil's crew? But we'll get pulped! Oh, please. No need to make quite such a fuss about it. This is simply a training exercise. Yeah. I mean, the big boys aren't gonna go full tilt at us newbies, sure. You three... Listen very carefully to what I'm about to say. Whatever opponent you may face, I forbid you to belittle or think ill of them. From the moment you raise your blade against theirs, you must project every ounce of your power when you fight. In that way, you do an honor to your opponent. Honor? Yes, honor. If you do not offer that honor to your opponent, then all that remains is the shadow of enmity. If pure power is the only prize of battle, then surely this war will never end. For the most sacred duty of every soldier is this, to stamp out evil at its source. Busting out the big words as usual. <laughs> <laughs> That's our teach for ya. Neo and companions, do not hold back. Bring your full strength to bear on your juniors. All right. We'll do our level best to assume the role of enemy. Very well. Squads, to your positions. Wait for the designated start time. Iris communication is forbidden from this point. That is all. Disperse. Why is Iris communication not allowed for this? It's time. <clears throat> we should commence with our battle plan. That's as odd. Well. Teach? What is it? Uh, I just had the feeling I was being watched. Uh, a trick of the mind, perhaps. I doubt it. Come on, let's get out there and grab these containers, yeah? The rookies are gonna beat us to it. Yes, indeed. We elders need to demonstrate a bit of spirit. Roger. Starting mission. All right, let's go. They're already fighting somebody? Ah, oh, it's a bunch of wolves. This shan't take long. Oh, I'm dead. out there I guess yeah uh, you guess no worries. considering we're meant to be your enemy I'm not sure help is the right word even so we couldn't just leave them to get mown down there could we ha. chaos reigns supreme on the field of battle let this be a lesson to you hmm. huh aren't you guys in Kyrie squad yeah that's right Where's Kyrie? So, where's Kyrie? She's not here. I guess she's gotten lost, as usual. Where's Kyrie? That's the entire plot of Kingdom Hearts. Ah, life's compass is never set on a single course. Huh? So she wandered off again. That's our Kyrie. What should we do, Teach? Do you want us to look for her? No. Let's leave it to them. This too is a part of the training. Roger that. I'll track her down then. 
though, to be honest. I don't fancy my chances. It was a straight line to here, though. What the fuck? How did she get that lost that quick? Time to get lost, didn't I? So what now? No, I can't just stay here. It's getting worse. I need to step up to the plate. Be more like Mio. Okay, who are you? I hope Kyrie's all right. All right, so from where we started, it was a straight line this way, right? Kyrie ended up uh, over there somewhere. How? How was your sense of direction that fucking bad? Wow, there's a lot of ropes around here. This was by design. See what we've got. Everybody lay into that one. First blood. Nice move, Kyle. No more running. Oh. Got a nice There was a lot less going on in Xenoblade 1 and 2 than there is here. I kind of feel like that's overkill, but okay. Do do whatever you want, Lance. You're happy for the toad. Why? What happened? going to be a solid addition to the force thanks to your instruction i can't take all the credit it's down to their superb teamwork as much as anything yeah we bagged it in <laughs> container can't wait to see what we got shouldn't give the others a chance to regroup let's just swipe it and skedaddle <laughs> it seems you're relishing your roles as the bad guys good casting by me Unfortunately, those friends go home. I think Marina leaves today and Patrick leaves tomorrow. But yes, it was good that he had people around him. I don't have a lot of knowledge about Xenoblade X, but I was very excited to see it get announced this morning. That is true.
uh, basically a definitive a version of one that already exists. It was originally released on the Wii U. What? There's no one here. Are we the first? Huh? That sucks. What an anticlimax. Oh well. Let's recover the container. Not so fast. Who? What? Where? But we're surrounded. So it seems. You thought us rookies were gonna be a pushover, didn't you? Well, joke's on you now. Fork it over! We've got a full head of steam over here. And you're gonna get all of it. Sorry! <laughs> Just how I like it. Come at us, mudders. Nothing like a jump with a death wish. I swear Lance is having fun with this. That was that was like a good plan. Unfortunately, we're just too much stronger than them for it to have worked. Indeed he is. But he's not a bad guy. I mean, I would hope not. He's part of the main party. But no, he's he's absolutely having fun with this. Think of it like that. You drew a pretty sharp line in the sand there. Right. And I'd say that means you've still got room to grow. So don't let up now. That means a lot. Well, guess we'll be yoinking the container then. Unless you rookies got another round in you. No, I know when I'm beat. You sure about that? I thought you liked a bit of hard sparring, even more than strength training. Shots fired. You still bitter about that, Senna. Excellent. Your duty is fulfilled and admirably at that. Let's return to the original rendezvous point. Kyrie, what? Oh, that's weird. I thought it was round here. Oh, did I go off in the wrong direction again? Oh. No, I, I can't have. Everything's totally fine. Nothing to worry about. Oh. Uh, I think he's to be worried about. It's ready, soldier. What, what am I going to do? You're going to fight. Man. Something so valuable here.
Everyone, thank you for your perseverance. In these maneuvers, you showed quality, doggedness, and grit in the pursuit of excellence. But we gotta face it. We got trashed. Hey, don't be down on yourself. You proved you got the right stuff, yeah? For the amount of pressure and problems you gave us, I'd say that's pretty promising for new recruits. While the leader of each squad is present, there's something I'd like to announce. Uh, about that. Uh, I guess I'll have to stand in for Kyrie. We haven't found her yet. What? I guess we'll need to mount a proper search for her. Sheesh. She's a real test of patience, that one. No kidding. Yes. Teach speaking. So, you're calling yourself Teach now? Interesting. What? Who? But that's not all that's interesting. For example, what became of that soldier of yours? The one blindly wandering around the battlefield back there. Where is she now? You. What have you done with Kyrie? You'd better not have hurt her. It's all down to you now, Teach. You better start the search for her. Seek help from your comrades then. Bring your reinforcements. It makes no difference to me. Who the fuck are you? But hear this. I won't let you escape. Forgive me, but I cannot follow your meaning. You aren't making a shred of sense. A clue. Remember Kai. <sighs> Think of me as... A ghost from your past. Teach? What just happened? Is something up with Kyrie? It appears that Kyrie has been abducted by a mysterious party. Abducted? But who would... I don't know yet. I sense a Kavesi hand in this, or perhaps... Well, we'd better get out there and help her. No. Kyrie is my responsibility. Please lead the troops back to the colony. Hey, come on. Um, Commander, don't worry about us. We'll be okay. We may be a bunch of rookies, but I think we can get ourselves back to the colony in one piece. Commander, sir! Zuno, Foots, but... Commander, I also think that might be the best course of action. We just slow you down, but if you take Noah and the others, you've got a much better chance of finding Kyrie. Spark, guys. Understood. You're right. Take yourselves back to the colony. Everyone, listen up. I'm going to have to ask you to assist in the search for Kyrie. We were here for that from the start, Commander. Let's find Kyrie. That means we're going to have to find a way to search this vast expanse. It'll be tough. Perhaps it won't be so tough. I've already formed a broad concept of Kyrie's current location. Huh? Really? Rotswool Battle Scar is the site of an ancient battlefield in the west of Everblight Plain. I've been over there once. Kyrie is deep within that zone. How come you're so certain, Teach? Time is short. I'll explain on the way. Commander, please bring Kyrie back safely. On my honor, I swear it, and you must promise to be vigilant until you've safely returned home. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. I've never actually done this one before. We have to get to Rotswell Battlescar. I must find Kyrie. Kyrie, please be okay. Wow, there are actually some guys that are decent leveled here. Kindly fuck off me. There's something I need to tell you about before we proceed. Is it to do with why you knew where Kyrie was? That's right. You see, 
I have an idea that our mysterious opponent's true target is myself. What? So then he only snatched Kyrie to get to you? Exactly. He took her as nothing more than a hostage to lure me out. Considering this angle, the pieces start to fit together. Commander, does this mean that you know the identity of our opponent here? Not for certain, but I have a hypothesis. And if that hypothesis is correct, then Kyrie should be just up ahead. So, what is it then? Cause and effect. What? Something you did in the past? A colossal struggle took place on this battlefield a long time ago. Uh -huh. Kevis and Agnes lost countless lives in that battle. In the end, both sides were annihilated. Afterwards, it was said that the ones that let loose the dogs of war were Colony Kai, that this slaughter was their doing. Remember Kai, they said. Of course. I've read the tales of that battle too. But what does that have to do with all this? We'll need to save Kairi if we're to truly untangle the whole of this intrigue. Well, whatever the truth of the matter, one thing doesn't change. We need to save her. But if I'm right, I need to put an end to this for good. Stamp out evil at its source. I'm or sorry. Otherwise. Turn here of all places. Peach? You want to talk about it? This was a nice find. Commander Teach! Are you all right? Are you injured? Um, I can't stand. I'm sorry. You're in one piece at least. Something to be thankful for. Yes. It looks like we've narrowly avoided the very worst outcome. But... The way you talk. The way you act. It's as if you're a different person. Or do my eyes deceive me? No. You knew the meaning of this place. It must be you. Are you alone? Do you have allies? Not Look anymore. Look at that, Veronis. The last bit of life burning within its flame clock is mine. This is where my friends died. Slaughtered to the last by the hand of Colony Kai's commander, the man dubbed the All Slayer. You? You're a survivor of that battle? That's right. Just like him. I can understand well what it is you want, but why act in this way? Luring you in with this little nobody, you mean? <laughs> if I hadn't taken such measures, you would have gotten away from me. Just as you'd given me the slip by changing your identity, running from the past. I know that I can never escape my past, not ever. How old is Teach? But I chose a different path. I chose to live with the past as a burden I must bear. A wonderfully convenient use of logic. Do you suppose it will persuade the dry and dusty bones of the dead? Enough of your sophistry and lies! This is the purpose I live for. Why I endured the pain of being the final survivor of my people. Well, it's all about to come to an end. I will kill you as an offering to my friends! It seems you're bent on fighting me. What if there were another way? Bah, please. Enough. You 
dare to despise me, to look down upon me as a worm, an insect. I am not the weakling you think I am. At least I don't throw away my friends like spent trash. I'll kill you. I'll I kill heard you. I'm so excited. X is the only one I have not played yet. I have it. I just haven't played it yet. Or I guess more specifically, yeah, Blade. I haven't played any... Upsago, or, uh, and I haven't played Gears. But dude, I'm so excited. His name is just Avenger. I like that. few things that I know about Xenoblade X, um, it is a, a lot more focused on the world building and side quests than the main series, than the main trilogy. And then the soundtrack was done by Hiroyuki Sawano. Um, so the music is pretty good. That's about all I know. What's the matter, Oleg? Is this all the strength you can muster? Your hope, your desire is to kill me. That being so, there is no meaning in our fighting. Just do what you will now. You mean to insult me even now? Fighting a weakling like me isn't worth the effort, is that it? No, you're wrong. You don't understand at all. Then fight! Fight mm -hmm. like you fought my allies, like you crushed the life from their bodies! Show me your true nature, your fangs! Kill me, Oleg! Crush me! <sighs> Coward! I won't stop, not until I bring the red mist down upon you! If it takes laying down this man is not listening. You, I'll do it. Hey, I'm no rookie. Yes, you are, Kyrie. Shut up. Huh? Kyrie? Huh? Hey, when she get back up? Kyrie, if you're back on your feet, escape while you can. N no, I won't run away. I'll fight by your side with all of you. Don't be a fool. I'm, I'm not. I'm doing what the commander told us to do. Do honor to your opponents. Fight them with every ounce of your strength. Kyrie, you're... But that's why, I, why we fight. Me, you, me, oh, commander. All of us. I am a warrior of Colony Gamma. <sighs> She's right. I forgot the very thing I told my students to guard in their hearts. It was me that lacked maturity, that hadn't grasped the basic truth. Certainly your technique, it's amazing. It's only natural. You've applied yourself to discipline which forces you to stare death in the face. <laughs> Since you've borne that burden, I ought to fight you with my whole strength and spirit. To meet your passion, I will unbind my darkest arts. I'm listening. Kyrie, please, lend me your powers. Roger that, Commander. I'll give it everything. 
as you wish. More kindling for the carnival of carnage. Show me these darkest of arts, Oleg. Teach me what you mean. Round two. Teach's All Slayer art has been unlocked. It can nullify the Avengers complete defense from critical vengeance. He just got a level up. I went too far. Fuck. Who got launched? Uni. Back him up. The fact that you could play Peak, the entirety of Peak, on one console is just amazing. I wonder how they're going to connect it back to the to the main trilogy, though. That's my thing. Because they've got to do something if they're re-releasing it. And I guess they don't have to, but like it would make sense to. Considering they did the same with, um... Uh, uh, one. I'm sorry, is Kyrie helping us? I want the items. Did I need to do that in the middle of combat? Absolutely not. But I wanted to. You little shit.
Alright, cool. We're gonna chain attack. While I have Lucky 7 out. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, so... What do you mean, invincible? Little oh, shit. This is quite concerning. Now he's taking damage, okay. You know, it would be great. It would be really great right now. If Noah would come back so I could use Lucky 7. Because nobody currently active has break either. Very concerning. I don't actually know which one does the most damage, but it's fine. Nice. Resisted. Damn. Okay. All right. Overkill. Give me that bonus experience, baby. you to live live on in my pain mere death is not your fate i will remember these words forever until my dying day you there agnian M me I said you were a rookie. 
a nobody. I take it all back. <gasps> You're strong. Much stronger than, than I could ever. Neo, I need to ask you a favor. You want me to see him off, don't you? That's right. Thank you. She just pulled that out of her ass. Thank you. Perhaps now his soul will find some respite. Yeah. I hope so too. Please, allow me to thank you once again. If you hadn't backed me up today, who knows what could have happened. Teach, don't mention it. We did exactly what we had to. Kyrie, you acquitted yourself very well in battle. You've made true progress. R really? I I was really useful to you. Yeah. I'm seeing you in a whole new light now, Kyrie. You're a credit to the Agonian forces. Wow. I'm so happy to hear you say that, Mule. Feeling a little dizzy now. Teach. I need to ask. Just who are you exactly? The Kavesi soldier was calling you Oleg. That was a name that used to ring out in Agnes, too. A commander whose martial prowess was nigh unmatched. According to the official records, Oleg fell in battle many years ago. If what that soldier said was true, then you're... Tyon, it's wise of you to press me on this matter. But you must forgive me. I'm afraid... I cannot tell you any more about that name. Is or... that because we haven't earned your trust? No, it isn't that. It's something else. I am bound to a promise, an oath. An oath? To impart wisdom to those who will succeed us, to teach them of strength and the tenets of battle. That this humble wish should spark, we pledged never to divulge the secrets of the past. That's the oath that I took with Consul G. Consul G? The same Consul G that we took down? By way of that oath, Consul G gave me a new name and a new role as an educator. But why would you be forbidden from talking about the past? Because you see, I have no right to do so. However many words I expend talking about the past, they would be nothing more than a collection of empty excuses. I'd merely be setting down the burden of the past in the hope of being forgiven. So, the consul strictly forbade it. The consul's I dead. My oath, as long as I draw breath. I see. But this must be a huge weight for you to carry. I mean, you can't share your worries or your troubles with anyone. Teach, about the past, are you also against us trying to find out about it? No. Of course, you are not bound by oath. Just as I have no right to divulge the past, I have no right to obstruct those seeking the truth either. If you want to uncover the past, that is a matter for you and you alone. Hey, sorry mate. I kind of lost the thread a bit there. Perhaps we can revisit that another time. It's getting on. The others must really be stewing in their juices about Kyrie. You're right. 
Let's get back and let them know she's safe. Roger that, Mule. Please, go ahead without me. I'll catch you up. I understand. Well, that was nice. Now we could raise Teach to level 20, or rank 20. Info acquired. All Slayer Oleg. I see some relations have changed. Let's make the most of our break, guys. Could you all come round for a second? So here's the story from a few years ago. Back then, Colony Kai was renowned as Agnes's preeminent military power. They cut down the enemies to the last, hunting down all escapees and stragglers without mercy. In a word, vicious. Colony Kai were an unstoppable force, and their rise through the ranks was in inexorable. Everyone knew they were bound for gold. They never reached it? Correct. According to their battle record, Kai was achieving startling results. The numbers of their friendly casualties were also rising in direct proportion. So what, they were sacrificing people to win? I'm surprised they managed to keep up that up for long. They were winnowing their troops. As a result, only the strongest fighters survived. No enemy could stand against Kai, whose ranks were composed solely from grizzled veterans. They were utterly trampled. Without mercy, yeah. No mercy for their foes, and none for their allies either. In their view, only Mike made right. Such was Colony Kai, under Commander Oleg. Oleg, huh? But in the end, it was unsustainable, right? Right. The end came during the battle at Rotswo Battlescar, where Kai completely annihilated several opposing colonies. According to the records, Oleg was also killed in that battle. Then, Oleg. That's Teach's real name. When you get back to it now, the commander did always try to instill in us a certain caution toward power. He may have been trying to warn us against the mistakes he himself made back when he was still Oleg. She did say it was up to us to decide how to act now that we've learned the truth. It doesn't change my thoughts on him. Whatever his past, Teach is our ally. More than that, he's our friend. What do you guys think? I've said it before, I'll say it again. Can't have too many strong mates. Same here. I don't mind too much. Other people's past are frankly none of my business. I believe the commander has been trying to reckon with his past in his own life. Only he can do it. Commander Teach was always kind to me and Mio when we moved there from Colony Theta. Wouldn't be right to doubt him now. I, I trust the commander. I'm with Senna on this. Looks like we're all agreed, in fact. Yeah, it's as Tyon said. Teach's actions now are up to him. But if he needs our help again, just like before, we'll be there to support him in a heartbeat. Of course, as real friends and allies should. That was nice. Also, we had this conversation with Teach sitting right there. So, properly speaking, this is the part where I'm supposed to praise the newbie's efforts and bring the exercise to a close. But it looks like they're of the same opinion as me. Mio, Senna, Tyon, and our dear Kavesi allies. Your teaching has made them full-fledged soldiers and unparalleled people. 
overcoming the spent antagonism toward former enemies. You sincerely faced each other from the same place. You made the right paths plain to them. Burden yourselves with the concerns of Colony Gamma, namely the cultivation of the next generation. All of us wish to thank you from the bottom of our hearts. The effect you've had on Gamma will probably sp spread to other colonies too. The effect may be a drop in the ocean in this world of raging and ceaseless war. But we can all be proud of the ripples that this tiny yet significant step will send out. We hold you in the highest esteem, Ouroboros. Stages teachers. Awesome. There's another quest already. Not fire. Uni, do you have a spare moment? Well, why if it isn't your Sora? What's up? Um, there's something I wanted to ask. You used to be a healer, didn't you? Mm, yeah, I did. I'm a jack of all trades since training Ouroboros, though. So then, did you know lots about medicine and treatments and stuff? Uh, I remember the basics, but I wouldn't say I'm an expert. You know, I just, I know just the minimum amount to be a healer. Why, do you want to be a healer? I'm not a healer, exactly. Promise you won't laugh at me if I tell you. Eh? I want to be a military doctor. You want to be a military doctor? I knew it, it's weird, isn't it? No, no, my bad, that's not what I meant. It's just a little surprising coming from you. Yeah, I know what you mean. Everyone thinks I'm just like Foots and Nagumo. Probably because I'm probably just because I'm in the same team as them. Whenever I mention I actually want to be a doctor, Foots just makes fun of me. And Nagumo is so annoying about it. Oh, right. That sounds tough, love. <sighs> I've been studying in secret, but there's only so much self study you could do. Oh, I get it. That's why you came to me for answers. Still, I'm not sure I'd really be much use to you. Sorry, love. No, please, I should be the sorry one. Thank you for listening anyway. Or Dodd. Or Claude. Or Claude. I see some relations of that sounds like a side quest. Let's make the most of our break, guys. I think we need to discuss this. Hey, Teach, can I bend your ear? Seems like Isora wants to be a medical doctor. Oh my, that's the first I've heard of it. Apparently she's been studying by herself, but she's finding it difficult. Isn't there anyone who could teach her? Hmm, I think I may have just the solution. Oh, really? We could try and find a special instructor in the field, outside of the colony. Ah uh, yes, I have heard of such a system. No shame at all in asking others to fill in when nobody has the experience. Knowledge is power, after all. In this case, we should try to find and find someone who's also a medical doctor. I'm trying to think if we know any doctors. Maybe Yola Chandra from 4? Well yeah, her. I think she might have her hands full with some other work. But there's no harm in asking. I'll accompany you then. I should be there on behalf of Colony Gamma. So that it uh, all goes through the pop proper channels. Okay then, it's settled. Let's go and see Alessandra.
Hiya. Dear, do you have an upset stomach? You look perfectly healthy to me, though. You're right, I'm full of beans. We have something we wanted to ask you about, Alessandra. Delighted to meet you. My name is Teach. Teach, you're from Colony Gamma, right? Forgive me for rudely imposing. But Mio and her friend said I might be able to ask a favor of you. Okay, I understand. You're very enthusiastic about teaching, aren't you, Commander? What do you think? Would you be able to share your experiences and expert techniques with our Yosora? I totally agree with your principles, and I have nothing against helping you out even though you're an Agnian colony. Well then. However, if I have to leave the colony grounds, it's a different story. I lead the medic team. I can't leave my post. Yeah, that makes sense. Instead, I could send my teammate uh, Maybach as a substitute. He's not the most experienced of us, but he knows what it takes to be a military doctor. That'd be okay. Yes, I have absolute faith in your recommendation. We'd be very grateful for your support. Thank you, Olashandra. You've been a great help. No problem. We are indebted to you, after all. Go and talk to Maybach. Feel free to come along. As she walks in a circle behind us. So, with all that said, I'd like you to take a trip to Colony Gamma. You've got it, Captain. Actually, hold on a second! Do you have a problem with that? Not a problem, exactly. But isn't Colony Gamma an Acnean colony? Not to worry. Our flame clock has been destroyed. We're in the same position as you. That means there's no chance of them causing you any harm, maybe. There should be no issue. Uh, I understand your logic, but... You're an excellent assistant, but you're a little dependent on me sometimes. This would be a great chance to get you some worldly experience. Captain Alessandra. Okay, I understand. Not sure how much help I'll be, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you very much. We welcome you to our colony with open arms. Do your best, Maybach. Say hello to the little fledgling doctor for me. Yes, Captain. Maybach, moving out. Good to add more names. Uh, nope. Wrong map. <sighs> Thank god there's no, like, hero's path thing in, uh, in this game, because if there was, whew, that'd be a little rough to try to, to follow along with, with how much warping you do in this game. Sorry to keep you waiting, Yasora. We brought someone for you. Y uni What's going on? What do you mean, you brought someone for me? You said you wanted to be a military doctor, right? So I brought you one. N nice to meet you. Don't worry, Maybach is a friend of ours. There's nothing to be scared of. Um, so what's going on? You said you hit a wall studying alone to become a doctor, right? I can't help you, but this guy can. You can ask him anything you like. You really ran out of your way for me. Thank you, Uni. Uh, you're the new recruit that wanted to become a doctor, right? Oh, yes. My name is Yasora. Hello, Yasora. I'm Maybach. Nice to formally meet you. N nice to meet you, too. Let's get started, then. Is there anything you want to ask me? Yes, I'd like to know about medical approaches to treating different symptoms. Oh yes, okay, that's a pretty broad topic, depending on your progress so far. First, let's start with a case study. Looks like those two are going to get along great. I imagine she'll be fine to leave in Maybach's hands. I just hope her determination bears fruit. By the way, Uni, thank you once again for all this. Took notice of Yasora's real goals and made every effort to help her. Gamma Commander, I must thank you. The bottom of my heart. 
Nah, it's fine. She came up and asked me. How could I say no? I wanted to help. Oh, actually, Maybach's the helpful one, not me. Quest complete. That was easy. Replacing Alessandra, Maybach hit it off immediately with the studious Yusora. You won't have any problems qualifying as a doctor at this rate. I see some relations have changed. Right, is that everything at Colony Gamma? I'm shocked. Alright. Let's check in with Colony 9. Where's Colony 9? Up here. Let's see if there's anything new going on. I doubt it. I feel like we did everything over here. Could be wrong. I... I see information that I have not gathered yet. Alright, hang on. You know what, we're gonna take the lazy man's way out. Spongy spud things. They're delish. So much so that I wonder if it's almost lunchtime all the time now. And now we know Spongy spuds. They're so, so good. I could eat them by the sack load. I know. I can always make space in my belly for them. I can always make space in my belly for them. Interesting. We could do with some food. Where should I start? Anyone else get the feeling Colony 9 folks might be eating a bit too many spongy spuds? Seems to me like they really fell in love with them, yeah. Seem to always be be always eating them. Eating them is one thing, but you hear them talking about saving Ionios with them? Not what we're doing too, curiously enough. Of course it's not. Uh, where is it? Well, if nothing else, spongy spuds are helping ease the food shortages. But people don't have to fight so hard over resources. And if they don't have to fight, then that's saving the world. In some sense, at least. Don't get me wrong, I'm not arguing with the logic. I'm just trying to point out that there's an important point you're missing. And that is... It's this! Eating nothing but potatoes? It's as boring as all get out! I know that I cannot take that lying down. Potato cuisine contain hidden depth. The amount of possible variation so high is practically endless. With wings of banana at spatula, can eat potatoes all life and never not be satisfied. Well, I dare say this might just be banana's time to shine then. Thing is how that flop always basically just steam their spots. I think that might be a mercy. Banana will get on case immediately. Time to save world with potatoes is now. Oh boy. I think we need to discuss this. Everyone's talking up the spongy spuds. They're mouthwatering, even if you just steam them. Didn't I say they were delicious? You look well made up. Not surprised. He got teary-eyed just from eating them raw. Not just that. You can reliably raise a sizable yield without much difficulty. This has put a lot of minds at ease. I think it's safe to say spongy spuds are the key to Colony 9's survival. The whole colony seems much brighter now. Everybody's getting a go of working in the field. People are less anxious. They're less prone to confrontation. Confrontation. Just wish we had a similar way to reduce intercolony hostility. Don't we? Maybe we should give it a try. Give what a try exactly? Let's try spreading spongy spuds to other colonies. They'd solve food shortages. Maybe help a little with the tension and anxiety of the war. Colony 9 certainly works as a successful test model. But are you sure this is going to work? We'll do our best to make it work. Hunger makes it hard to think rationally. It eats away at the heart. We need to free people from that anguish. Then let's get going. Spread the good news of the spongy spud. Can't waste any time. I'll call some friends. We'll continue this conversation in the Colony 9 Commander's Office. Crusader for spuds. Oh boy. I can't believe there's another... <sighs> there's another potato side quest. I... God damn it. I thought I was done.
Do I not have? Nope. You need my help. At your service. Tyon, would you have a minute? I'd like to discuss agronomy. All right. We can discuss this on our next break over some herbal tea. Uh, hello? Bruh. So, as we discussed earlier, we want to teach other colonies how to grow spongy spuds. Count me in. Conflicts over food supply are tragic. If there's anything we could do to help ease them, we should. Guess places with poor weather or bad crops would owe us a favor. Looks like nobody objects. I mean, this is great and all, but how are you going to do it? You can't just hand over a spud and call it done. You're right. We'll need people to be able to teach on site. I'd like Rold and Kite to take care of that. Work with the people in charge. Listen to what they want. Will do. We'll need to suss out the best colonies for cultivation and discuss things with the leaders. The most important thing right now is the soil. Ah, uh, yeah, the soil needs earthworm wood, right? I've done some analysis on that front. Colony 4 fulfills the geological criteria. Okay, let's go and talk with the resource spots with Xeon. Appreciated me. I hope this works. I see some relations have changed. It's kind of nuts to think how much difference a single spud can make. A potato. But with the power to change hearts. Now that's a tuba to tout. Soil's not too acidic, and it looks to be getting enough moisture. Incredible! Your eyes are literally shining. Solon, can we talk to you? What's up? Uh, I see. And you call them spongy spuds? People could be a little wary about food they're not familiar with. Think it'll be hard to convince them? Uh, no. Our colony is battling food shortages right now. If this can take us a tiny bit closer to solving that. Then I'd love you to teach us how to grow them. Could you give us some time to consider? Yes, thank you, yes. Get back to Colony 9. Another bugger. at just the right time. We just got word that someone in Colony 4 wants to learn to grow potatoes. Woohoo, that was quick. I was actually about to assign some teachers. I was thinking of leaving this one to Trish and Eastman. Eastman works really hard at the field, so I think he'd be a good shout. He may be rubbish at expressing himself, but as long as Trish is there, it should be fine. Agreed. They're good choices. So, sorry about the sudden request, but would you help? Yep, leave it in our capable hands. Get it done by two, in two ticks. What you mean to say is it will work very hard so you don't have to worry. Okay, good to hear. The other thing we have to take into consideration is that it's a food people aren't familiar with. Bit of a roadblock if no one knows how to cook it, yeah? We could share our favorite recipes, what do you think? That sound like Forte of Manana! Manana very well equipped to share goodness of spongy spuds with world! I'm telling you, give him a quick steam, job's a good one. If friends are serious about spongy spuds, then higher height of deliciousness can be achieved. Cooking intuition of banana say so. Okay then, how about this? We could try to find an original recipe suited to that colony. We can find out about the colony's particular tastes, what they're looking for. I think we'll get people on board that way. Yes, that good plan, banana all for it. Weird for you to think about how on board people are with a plan. 
This means people could change, no matter how many terms they've got under their belt. Okay, okay, that's enough. So Manana's taking care of the recipes. We could do the asking around then. Good, then let's start gathering data from Colony 4. <sighs> let's go there at night. We haven't been there at night yet. Or if we have, it's been a long time. Ah, uh, my poor growling stomach. Not in my worst nightmares did I ever think I'd become so starved for food. Imagine that, being able to end the day on a full stomach without eating food that came from the castle. Russians barely fill you up at all. I don't even care about the taste. I just wish I could stop feeling hungry for an hour. Hey, so... We kind of know that they're, uh... Carbon. Where's the... There it is. Could do with some food. Clean some clothes. Nice and clean. Could you all come round for a second? What about that recipe you've come up with for Colony Four? Market research was very superb. People of Colony Four want to gorge until Tum Tum is full. I'll have a hard time of getting enough a high enough yield with the soil they've got. Recipe's gonna have to take that into account then, if people are gonna have enough to eat. That's true. Bungie Spud can be growing hundreds of thousand now. Huh? Look, cause we need to keep flavor fresh and not let people get tired of some of it. That makes sense. What an ingenious take. So how do we put that into practice? I'll do whatever I... From you? Nothing. Oh. Hey, it's not the end of the world. Imagine image of recipe is like crystal in Manana's mind. Soon is ready to, for present to Colony 4, Manana have complete faith in abilities. That's great news. Get cracking then. Manana, is there anything you need besides the spongy spuds? Manana needs six spongy spuds, two portions of cured armor sirloin, two springs of deodorugula. Oh, and also three drumstick leeks. We can arrange some of that for you. Wow, you really are you you are really buzzing about this, aren't you? Quiet lands. Once the ingredients are ready, we can unveil Manana's creation to Colony 4. Have a look at the fields, and then we can talk to Solon about cooking. Break time's over! The fields are over there. They're looking hale and hearty! Oh wow, it's really coming along, huh? Managed to get all the seed potatoes in the ground. Went pretty quick with some helping hands. People were eager to help when they found out it was about maintaining a self-sufficient food supply. Now all you need is to turn them into potatoes. Yeah. There's something on your mind. Of course, most of our soldiers hope the fields will yield crops too. But we've had other potatoes and rations before, and they weren't good. Some soldiers aren't in favor of this experiment. I know this is a lot to ask of you. So we have some naysayers. Well, we actually have a proposal. Time for Manana to shine! Manana's actually put together a bespoke recipe for you. Oh, how marvelous. Manana, please to shell. Everyone wash human paws and get ready for cook. It's time to show you the true power of spongy spuds! 
freaking me out now, man. Dial it down a notch. I don't think he knows how it lands. Cooking begin. Okay, so we're handing I actually don't have enough armor, Sorelei. Motherfucker. How do I get armor, Sorelei? Uh. Armu Sorelei. Yes. Let me buy. Uh. No. Oh. Well, no. I need. Oh, fuck me. Not the carrot I need then. What is the one that I need? I see some relations have changed. Check out what it bombed. Okay, that's it, the purple. East to prison camp. Uh, map. Where prison camp? Prison camp. Gerleth, Armu, and their babies. Drop it often, it says. Okay, that's where we're going then. Stupid purple Armu thing. Uh, go out this way, I think it was. Water and water and water, water, 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 water and water and water, water. There, I finished it. I don't want to do this, but you're in our way. Try not to waste too much time on me. It's only Vinny after all. You're a lifesaver. I don't know why I was on Noah. This is an Arden, not an Armu. This is not going to drop what I want. You'll do.
Okay. Hey, lands. I got what I need. Um... Good question. We have the Season 2 remasters done. They should be, um... They should be coming out soon. I don't know exactly when, but we wanted to wait a little bit because... We didn't want to release them too soon after the most recent season. So, I'd say like November 1st or so. But don't, I can't make any promises because it's ultimately up to him. As for the the stuff that, the trip that just happened, I don't even know if he vlogged it. I could not get a definitive answer. Uh, due to recent events, he talked about not sure, being not sure if he felt up to it. Uh, I urged him to do it anyway. Just so that he can remember that the week wasn't all bad. But, uh... I won't know until you know, pretty much. What was that thing needed again? That actually looks really good. And ta-da to ta-da to surprise is finished. Bon appetit. Good. Oh, this is amazing. I never knew you could make potatoes taste this way. I could eat this every day for the rest of my life. And there's so much. I think this is the first time I've ever truly been full. Felony 9's help, we've taken a big step in resolving our food supply issues. We're indebted to you. But we could be of service. I'm gonna get back to the fields. First, I think I'll try some special spongy Tata 2 surprise. We've got two ticks, and that's it. Oof, what a slave driver. Was the remake season hard to remake? Um. The season 2 remasters were harder to do than the first. And I'll explain why in a minute. Now it's exciting to wait for day of harvest of spongy spuds. That's for sure. Everyone's a wannabe potato farmer here. They're gonna have a bigger field than Colony 9. No competition here. The more potatoes we have, the more peace we'll have. At least, that's what I believe. You made a first step today, Zeon. One more step toward your ideal. Never really thought of it as an ideal. I suppose it is. Maybe it's just a small step in the grand scheme of things. But for me, it's a pretty big one. So, the problem with the, um, the Season 2 stuff compared to the Season 1, um, the Jordan in the past did actually try to do some editing 
whereas he just slapped everything together in a timeline in the first season. So, I, um, I had to, like, work around the edits that he tried to make. So it wasn't ex quite as easy as it was on the season one. Lore question. How many humanoid races there are? Are the Nopons not looked down upon? No, they are not. Yep. Doesn't look it. Either channel I've never been to. How do I get up there? Over there. Okay. Not that I'm aware of. I mean, in the previous games, there might have been a few, but they got used to them over the course of the previous game's stories. You know what? While I'm here... Lands, we've been over there before. Okay. Great. Wonder what it's like inside. Dogs are barking something fierce outside. I can hear it from here. Oh, that's right. Last time I was over here, I was severely underleveled for the area. Fifty percent? Fifty percent. Alright, cool. That means I have to go do her rank up quest. How do? side quests in this area? Maybe, maybe not. I haven't been up there. I definitely haven't done, like, all unique monsters. Because I bet you there's one up there. So... Yeah, 
I guess it's time. How do I get to that? Just like this. Don't tell me it's up there. Oh no, it's right here. That's a unique monster. Lance, I hope you're still, uh... I'm not targeting her. Why am I targeting you now? I see a dead body. Never seen this place before. Is that a container? That's a container. Mm. Yeah, okay. Such is the officer's duty. Such is the officer's duty. Where the fuck are you, Noah? There you are. That's a unique monster. Let's do it. It's got a lot of health. I don't think he's landed a single hit on me yet. That's not what I meant. I saw a corpse that needed to be sent off. I 
I just wanted to vibe to the music a minute. Alright. Fuck him up. Cursed cuisine. Let's see. 6, 8, 7, 9, 10, 9. Alright, lands is rank 10. The lands also. Canceling on the side. Yeah, let's do this. Once we have more people up to rank 10, then I'll worry about like fully reorganizing everything. I just wanted to make sure that Lance could do more fusion arts. Uh, Noah. Just off of that special sword he has? Yeah. This was a nice find. I am excited. I have not played X before. I've played all the numbered games and the DLCs, but I have not played X before. So, uh, that gives me an easy way to do it. <laughs> and I'm very excited for it. It's specifically an X, not a 10. Okay, buddy. Surprise me. It's not a Roman numeral for 10. It is actually an X. You haven't played the game yet and you're super duper excited with today's... I know. 
Like, okay, so I was making myself breakfast before stream this morning when I saw the notification about it, and I was like, ooh, ooh. Very exciting. And that kind of changed what I planned to play. <laughs> I was originally going to play, um, I'm in the middle of a bunch of different games right now. Uh, I was going to play Zelda. Uh, but in, I saw that, uh, announcement, I was like, mm, we're doing Xenoblade instead. Gotta go against the flow. And how do I know that? Because the internet would have spoiled that by now, if it were supposed to be anything other than a regular X. You're at your job with your coworkers, and one of your coworkers delivered the accident news. The dude was literally... I understand. I wholeheartedly understand. Because I would be dancing too. Like 100%. In that scenario. Um, I was at work when the, um... When the first reveal trailer for this came out. And... Well, to be blunt, I screamed like a banshee. <laughs> In the middle of my workplace. Because I was so excited. Funny finding one here, huh? Um, I don't think I'm prepared for this, but we're gonna try. I'm dead. All right, time to run. Never mind, I just got party wiped. Oof. Been a while since we had one of those. Let's maybe not. Uh. Let's try not to get aggroed on him again. Now we know for sure Nintendo might be also be cooking the hidden gems. When we create HD, try the Princess HD Definitive Edition for Switch. It's really it's a Kraken. I mean, I would be super excited. I do have both of them on the Wii U, but having them on Switch would be great. I just want something a bit meatier. What I really want um, is ports or remakes of uh, Gears and Saga. Because, to be blunt, they could use it. Especially after Future Redeemed. I mean, I won't go into... Excuse you. I won't go into spoilers because I'm trying to avoid spoiling the people who watch these. But, uh... A after the DLC. The saga, especially, could use some kind of port or remake or whatever. And then, you know... The fact that pretty sure Bandai canceled a bunch of projects recently. Yeah, that's uh. Oof.
Who's dead? Tyon's dead. Why is Tyon dead? Oh, because he's the Kamarabi class still. That's right. I forgot. Standard quests, the desert hook. Uh, where? Is it? Oh. I didn't even notice it yet. The game was like, hey, you're doing the thing. Like, what thing? Oh, that thing. There are so many things going on right now. Okay, what's left on the Wii U? The two Zelda games. The um, Nintendo Land, which would be very hard to port. Because of how reliant it was on the, uh, the gamepad. Granted, I said the same thing about X, but, you know. Stranger Things. <laughs> um... I guess Devil's Third, but nobody's ever going to, uh... Nobody's ever going to bother porting that. Um, I don't think there's much else. Because everything else that was, like, interesting have, has already been ported to the Switch. Arguably the other two uh, Metroid Prime games. Though those were technically, like, GameCube and Wii games. But, you know. Having a port of the trilogy, which would be great. I don't think there's anything else. Like, super crazy that could or should be ported. Correct me if I'm wrong.
All right, in we go. Do it. Honest Hulk rebooted. All right, cool. Now this is the right spot for a rest. Give me the thing. Give stuff. Always nice to have more friends. Give me some fabricated items. Something so bad is here. But there's something awesome. These are worth a bit, right? Funny finding one here, huh? I think Cosmos will come to the edge of scorchy desert like this. Even now, yes, though not sure they in great hurry to purchase sandy merchandise. Okay. Quite a rare sight. There's a better way to fill in the map, I just don't remember how to do it. It's night time already. It's okay, there's a corpse here, so this is something deep. Noah, would you mind? Could have helped coming over here anyway. Just because of that extra affinity. Another husk. We can't leave it like this. Glad I had my eyes on the map. <laughs> That's an ether thing that I already got. Probably not a ton of the desert that I haven't explored yet. Never mind, there's actually quite a bit.
There's another quest in Colony 30. Quest out here by the portal. There's a quest out here that I have no idea how to get to. That's it right now, honestly. Alright, so... I guess we'll start with this one in Colony 30. Come back to the desert later. <sighs> oh, it's this. That's right. Hello, Rapapa. Hey, man, up on here now. Uh, all champing a bit, waiting to build Levness. We are currently proceeding on track for phase four. Friends bring materials, and Rapapa give them speedy quick check. Material all gathered. Phase 4 now completable. Much thanks. Phase 5 need hefty chunk of manpower. Appreciating the hearted labor of friends and events. Preparation prepared. Rapapa took a quick, quick break from uh, inspecting. Okay. Do I need to have Valdi in the party? Does not appear to have changed anything. All right, we'll come back to this. Well, of course, that doesn't release until March, Patrick. How are you? How's the drive? Or have you not started the drive yet? Here's a good spot to catch our breath. How have I never been to this camp before? Not flap wing any faster to escape scary Ignas that chasing little old me. It no good to only flap wing like scary Ferris. Right, craft, jam, and improve equipment, then fight back like Volk. Mwah, who dare approach? Who be you, ruffians, knaves, dunces? What? Sorry, what? Did I miss something? Behold, Mebo me is Mebo me, and Mebo me will. Mebo me will. Uh, Mebo me will. Uh, what will Mebo me again? Meh, Mebo Me's still rehearsing. Please come back to Mebo Me when Mebo Me say when. It, yeah, alright. Try talking to Mebo Me again after completing the game. So Mebo Me is going to be a thorn in my side for the rest of the game. Because Mebo Me gives you quests relating to amiibos. The unfortunate thing is that I have all of the amiibos. The amiibos already. The only one that I have not scanned yet is Shulk. So let me get Shulk. Special weapon acquired, the Monado. You can equip it in the clothing menu, like all the other uh, special weapons. Unfortunately, it only applies to Noah's default class, like all of the other swords. That said... Yeah, I know. Accessories. Not accessories. Clothing. Attachments. Monado. I haven't scanned Mithra? Okay, I guess I haven't scanned Mithra. Can I... A 
I'll take point. I don't want to do this, but you're in our way. Let's light these matters up. Yep, the Monado. It's nice. It's not helpful. Especially when you're, uh... Oh, I... Hmm. Monado. Yes. That. Uh, I guess I can switch him to this. Break needs to be before the topple. Uh, uh. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Noble taunt. That's good. That's good. Eh. Uh. Accessories. Well, no, because he's a bunch tank. Actually, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Don't even have to change much. Can you be? Can you line him up? Be the martial artist class. Water and water, 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 water and water
and water, 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 and water, and water, water. <sighs> what? Oh, I have three already. Okay, that's from the side. That's from the side. Okay, I get it now. Alternatively, All right, cool, we're good. Anyway, there is an ether and a, uh, a body back here, so we should grab those while we're here. So I can't do anything with Mebo me yet. thing is this. I haven't figured out how to get there yet. If 
if Gil were here, I'd be able to ask him. But, uh... Ugh. Hmm. I guess I'll just explore for a bit and see if I can figure it out. I don't think I've explored much down this way. Or up there, or... Uh... Was easy. We're unstoppable with you around, Senna. <laughs> I'm the girl with the gall. <laughs> this is valuable. I'll hang on to it. Funny finding one here, huh? Noah, would you mind? There's an ether channel right here. Could use a little bit of e extra ether. And like 60. Yeah. I know there was the Alexandria stuff. Unique monster. Well now, ain't that if we want to live, we've got to fight. Be a first to move. Apple. Water and water, 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 water and water
You're trying to get me to have to stop and use the bathroom, aren't you? You need food. He has the sword out. Hell yeah, Noah. Good job, Noah. Good shit, Noah. Job, Baldy. Now we get the break. That was the wrong button. Just leave this be. Why is it only Noah? Why 
get up there. Y'all are good without us. Kill. We're gonna head up this way. Which I think is where we had that cutscene. With, um, what was her name? Alexandria? Yeah, this is probably the way towards that other question mark. Can you beat this game by only doing mandatory battles? Yeah, probably. It would be kind of difficult, but it could be done. Basically what I did on my uh, first playthrough, it was primarily uh, mandatory battles only, and then just a couple of, like, Mimi, could you... oh, I want to do these side quests early on, and then it was like, no, I want to finish the game. I'm too invested. This is quite the, uh, quite the cliff face. Is that what I think it is? Guys, get ready. 
The unfortunate thing is that it would take a lot of, um, it would take a lot because you would not, so looking at the class setup, right, because other than two, three, okay, so from the main story you get this class, this class, this class, this class, this class, and this class. And I think that's it. So you would be very limited on party options. And the only ones that can be leveled up past 10 through main story only are these two. Everything else is capped at 10. So your, your options are very limited. Right, before we, like, properly storm Colony Iota, though, I do need to use the bathroom because you guys have made me drink too much water. You jerks. Hear something. Anyway, as I was saying, because you have to do like a bunch of different um, battles to get to the other classes, you absolutely, you absolutely 100% need to um, Everything is tied to a side quest, so without doing those fights, you would not be able to get the classes.
I mean, as you can see, these things are 20 levels under me, and they're still trying to fight me. Do I need to fight every last one of them? No, but... Point still stands. That is the corpse of a thing here in the water. I'm 80% sure. Also, if you start hearing noises, um... I'm gonna apologize. I had to open the window. It got way too hot in here. This is a door. Can I open the door? No. Yeah. Is key to door up here? Can't get up. Probably have to do the side quest first. Fine. That's a lot of dudes. This class is severely lacking in AoE aggro things. You know, I'm gonna, you know, we're gonna change heroes off of Valdi. We're gonna... Let's go Miyabi. Because I forgot her last stream and I feel bad. get around it. Hell yeah. Give me the container. I hope we can make use of this. Oh. No, oh, fuck you. We need to find this right. On it. What's inside? I found something shiny. We should take good care of that. All right, I'm here. I'm glad we meet again, Uroboros. So nice of you to come to us. Be assured, I appreciate the kindness. We don't really enjoy being hunted. The hunter's role is more our speed. Our time is precious. If you insist on barring our way. We'll do what needs to be done, old compatriot or not. No need for speeches. Now is a time for action. I do hope you came prepared. That we did. For reasons. The traitors will receive my 
Craft Maiden Alexandria, Colony Iota's Finest. through that somehow how many times are we going to have to do this i was just about to say that oh cool that makes it easy a console manners cur that is master e to you i put a lot of effort into developing this formula and now it's all wasted breaking her spirit then fashioning her in my own image you ought to have been my masterpiece! What's the pillet going on about? <laughs> Alexandria, my cherished game piece. You should have made it much farther. Who are you calling a piece? Neither her nor us will ever be what you want us to be. Oh, oh. <laughs> of course we are. And of course you will be. After all, that's just your role. Very well. I think it's time for a quick rerun. No use for all of these imbecilic side characters. I'm sorry? Return to your seat for Act 2. Carnage! The curtain's about to rise! Alright, fuck him up. Alright, let's do it.
Okay. Problem is that nobody has fucking break right now. Come on! That's gonna finish it. Oh no. That did way more than I uh, thought it would. That's annoying. Everyone all right? Yeah, more or less. For now, but all this fighting really takes its toll on you. Oh, really? That's not how it looked from where I was standing. <gasps> standing? You were kind of on the ground, lady. The way you beat him, and a big help, too. Wait, what's she saying? Dame Alex! I'm putting my foot down, only boring run-of-the-mill plans from now on. This one gave me anxiety. I said I was sorry. Don't cry. So it all went down according to your calculations? Our goal was the defeat of the Consul and to be released from his control. Though it was a long acquaintance we had, at least until we uncovered that lie of his. What was he lying about? It's a long story. But anyway, making an enemy of the console would have been a big gamble for us, too. So to weigh the risk, we had to figure out just how strong you lot actually were. So you used your friends and colony as bait. You thought if we were strong enough to deal with you all, we could stand up to the console, too. You seem bitter about it. But there must have been another way. Dispatch a scouting party, or... Oh, come on. We'd all reach homecoming before we got anywhere like that. Sure, but see how much it cost you. It's not worth the sacrifices. There is no victory without sacrifice. If you fight according to those musty old textbooks, you'll always be too slow. You're an old-fashioned man, aren't you, Tyon? What? 
Dame Alex, I don't think they'll respond well to that line of exposition. Yeah. Only Ouroboros can destroy our flame clock. Shouldn't we consider asking for their help instead of riding them up like this? I'm not riling up anyone. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Dame Alex doesn't actually believe the ends justify the means. You'll understand if you look closely at the colony and how things are here. What do you think? Might be good to look around before we enter into any partnerships. What if that's exactly what she wants you to think? Let's cross that bridge when we get to it. For now, I'd like to trust her. She was quite open with us this far. Good grief. How did softies like you even survive this long? Dame Alex? I'm sorry. I admit I may have crossed the line. <sighs> we'll have time to say goodbye to the old girl later. Come along. I'll show you how we fight here. I see some relations have changed. She's not saying anything. another one. Levinus repair parts? We got them, but no means of transport. Usual route goes a long way round. No, there's a colony we could route through. Those cylinders, we'll manage. We can add two days. We can make it on time. Prioritize speed. Start with light goods. That's the list there. I'll forward it on too. What do you know? They're really pro at that. They're not just regular soldiers. More like they're all officers. We're reading the flow of goods to learn of the war. It's a very flat hierarchy here, you'll find. Using a minimum of people to achieve maximum results. That's the way we like to fight. Of all the colonies in Ionios, we're a bit extreme in the way we use the cards. Pretty special, right? You mean the cards in the... iris? Yep. They tell us what's needed as of right now, and it's an easy and efficient tool. But soldiers' wills and skills, on the other hand. Feeling useful makes you confident. Confidence teaches a soldier pride. Pride binds the team, fosters productivity. And leads a colony to victory. Mm. Right? As a result, we can invest ourselves in more research, and it takes us a step beyond. A step beyond? Well, I did propose them. It's quite basic. Wait, the Collectopedia cards? You made them? The castle folk developed them. All I did was to issue the request through the console. Meaning you made a deal with the castle? Surely that's not... I didn't do it lightly. It was necessary. Doing the same as everyone around you, it's always the same outcome. Following the playbook to the letter is hardly a strategy. And so I'm old-fashioned? You're not mad this time. I realized there was no ill will. We fight when we're confident. You and I... I think we're the same in that regard. I'm getting the impression that something must have changed you. Thank the previous commander for that. He was a rash type, like this big one. 
Hm. It winds you up, doesn't it? I get what you mean. Oi, what the spark? No matter what happens, you fight to keep everyone alive. And that? That's what makes a colony. All right, Alexandria. I understand you now. Do you think we'll be useful? Doesn't matter. I don't see people that way. Oh. Time to head back. We've unfinished business. That's right. Time is precious. Head back, it's 50 meters away. You're like right next to it already. Come on now. So all that's left is to smash it, yeah? Yes. That way, Colony Iota will be free. I'll be honest. I'm not 100% on board with how you've played this. I don't appreciate being manipulated. I'm sorry about tricking you before. I really do regret it. Yeah? What's to say you're not tricking us even now? Insolent! I'm sorry about lands, but I would like to know what exactly your goal is here. When you think about rules, you have to realize that they are closely entangled with the intentions of whoever set them. I don't suppose you'll believe me, but I just want to see what life's like outside of those confines. No. I believe you. From everything you've told us, I can see how serious you are. Thank you. And I'm counting on you. Let's keep it on the straight and narrow from now on. Interesting choice of words. Lands? No, it's fine. I'm sure she's got nothing else left to hide now anyway. Uh, love? She's still hiding stuff. Dame Alex? No, I've got this. I'm... I'm not as old as I might seem. So, I don't quite have the authority you might think yet. You don't... Wait. Which term are you in? Six? What? I'm sorry? Oh, you cannot be sixth term. Hush, not so loud. I thought for sure we were the same term. You just have this dignity about you. I work really hard for that, you know? Some colonies plan surprise attacks if they work out the timing of when the next generation of soldiers rolls over. And also, well, you know, reasons. What reasons? Dame Alex thinks she looks too young, so she likes to put on a touch of cosmetics to give her features extra character. That was not public information. <laughs> you were just going to leave them all guessing otherwise. Not really what I expected. Well, that's your fault for assuming, isn't it? Having presence is important for a commander. This might be going over my head, but it sounds like a struggle. <sighs> for your information, the only ones who know this are my team Cheese and Chickadee. This is one secret I expect you to take with you unto homecoming. We understand. <laughs> we won't tell anyone. Here we go! Nice. Party bore witness to Alexandria's ingenuity for survival and got a glimpse of her situation. They agree to keep her being a sixth termer top secret. If you have my back, I've got yours. Speaking of, we now have the Incursor class. The Incursor class is... How will they know the time now? Uh, the Incursor class is an attacker. Damage increases with each critical hit, but beware as the damage bonus resets upon incapacity. Gratitude for your courageous work. Here, congratulations. 
Thank you. That looks like Kyrie. <laughs> the possibilities. What's this? Everyone's having a grand old time. Ah, yeah, I guess you don't know about this. Today's Harvest Day. It only happens once a month. What's Harvest Day? It's an evaluation day, basically. Every month we evaluate soldiers on their cooperation, boldness, and results. It's a day for us to show our appreciation of the soldiers who contribute the most to the colony. Can I be straight with you? In my book, evaluations are pretty much the exact opposite of fun. Oh, it's not the evaluation everyone's looking forward to. Chosen soldiers get to ask for anything they want. What? Like anything? Like cured armor sirloin? Or some seafoam soap? Anything. Within the realm's possibility, of course. Sparks alive! That sounds wicked! And next we have... Misaka of Sequoia's team. Is Misaka here? Hey, you don't think she's still in the intel analysis suite, do you? She might be, yeah. Probably clean forgot today was the day. I did tell her in advance. Oh, we go get her. You could keep the show going, yeah? Oh, I couldn't ask you to go to all that trouble. We don't mind. You just keep doing your job. Well, if you're insisting, thank you so much. Then, could you give this to her? Harvest Day Tiara. You don't have to give it to her in person. Koya's team's really busy at the moment. I wonder if there's something going on with them. They won't mind, I'm sure. Just tell them I sent you. Alright, we'll go. I wouldn't mind talking to Misaka myself. Can I leave you to take care of things on your end? All in a day's work. So, so, Cloud? By those supplies, I would expect Billy to be there. Everything, like... Everything on the HUD here is, uh, like, an in-universe thing, and that includes the time of day down here. The only thing that that, like, did was make it that they don't die if they don't fight. Oh, she's in the infirmary. Or the barracks, or whatever. Let me tell you about a clock that it is made out of flame. And it will kill you. They thought that was lame. So they took Noah's sword and swing it around wildly. And it makes everybody cheer with glee. Because they don't have to die <laughs> from running out of time anymore. Ugh, how could this? I just can't. It's all so... I don't know. He's asleep. Yeah! Yeah! Was it Hemi Ray? I think she's awake now. Damn Alex. What did she just do to her? I understand opening up acupuncture points is one way to relieve fatigue. Yeah, and so is a punch in the kisser. You know you've been selected for Harvest Day, right? You should have been notified already. She's wearing a scouter. Oh, now I remember I thought I'd have a little nap it till it was time. Oh no, the award ceremony, ceremony is now. Yeah, okay, pause your ponios. Why do you think we came all this way? Hand over the Harvest Day Tiara. Oh. Yay, I did it. Now I can get my luxury shampoo. She sends her regards and all that guff. Congratulations. Thanks. Try not to oversleep in the future. If this was a battlefield, you'd be dead. Uh, sorry. But you've done some sterling work. I'm expecting good things from you in the future too, Misaka. 
Yes, ma'am. I won't let you down. Anyway, you'll have to excuse me. There's a procedure to follow. Good shampoo is hard to come by. Harvest Day is about the only chance to get your hands on it. Sorry for the inconvenience. Not at all. It's been an enlightening experience. How long have you had this evaluation system in place? Since Chickadee arrived, I think. So, over two years now. At the same time as Colony Iota just started to distinguish itself. The girl's not much of a fighter. She really excels at this kind of thing. Anyway, if you want to know more about how it all works, you should ask Chickadee herself. That makes sense. We need to report back about Misaka anyway. Let's get back to Chickadee. How often must they take a life to not die? Um, so basically... It, there's not like a set time. So... Uh, what's the best way to do this? What's the best way to show this? Alright, I have an idea. Okay. Let me just swap this over so that I can see what I'm doing. Alright, so. The way that it works. We're, we're busting out the MS Paint. Where's my mouse cursor? Um... The flame clock is a circle, right? And as the flame, as you kill more people, the flame fills up like this, right? But if you are not killing people, it starts to go down in this direction. And once it reaches the end here, it'll run out and kill you. In the directions are reversed for the other nation, but that's generally how it works. It fills up one way, empties the opposite direction as as you like waste your time, and if it runs out, you're you're just dead. It got explained at the beginning of the game, but you weren't here for the beginning of the game, I don't think. So, it makes sense that you wouldn't have, uh, had it, you wouldn't have the knowledge. Hi. Good work with everything, Chickadee. We gave the tiara to Misaka. All the awards have been given out. Thank you so much for your help. She said Sequoia's team was busy. Well, it looks like it's taken its toll on Misaka. Following Collectopedia card movements takes great patience and concentration. So I wanted to make something like Harvest Day to show people their hard work was appreciated. Ah, so the evaluation system was your idea? It was, and somehow I made it come to fruition with Dame Alex's backing. We all wanted an evaluation system, the Flame Clock and Ho If all we wanted was an evaluation system, the Flame Clock and Homecoming would have done the job just fine. But you have to wait so long to see results that way. I wanted something a bit more immediate. Uh, a good way to improve soldiers' skills. It serves a direct personal benefit and stops people losing heart. I'm not really one of nature's fighters, but if this is the only way I can support the colony, then I'll do it with pride. Now that the colony's been freed, I could do so much more. Thank you, everyone. Cool. Yeah, kinda. You, after your first couple of years in the system, you get a feel for how much time passes. But, um, I don't, it, it's not, like, readily available. If that makes sense. We could do with some food. I'll start, shall I? You 
Peonies back in action. River Bird Crispy Grill. Can't wait to see how Manana prepares it. Nice. Break time's over. Got those supplies we're sending to Colony Tau. They can wait. We've had a change of plans. Our next delivery is now going to Colony 4. Colony Iota Goods. Have you seen the state of the food and medical supplies in Colony 4? You can add equipment and ether cylinders to that list too. They're running out of resources all across the board. Sorry, I'm sure people see us in a worse light now. Get that. There's a reason us mechanics need to do our jobs properly. That's because our comrades' lives depend on it. Hey. Let's make the most of our break, guys. I think we need to discuss this. So there's something about the Colony 4 resource problem that I've been thinking about. Alexandria, why did you help? That's a bit of a rude question. Colony 4 is an ally. They've been released from their flame clock. I don't need an excuse to help an ally, do I? Yes, I can understand you're sharing resources with them. But what I'm trying to say is, how does an Agnian colony know so much about the resource shortages of a Kvesi one? That's what you were going to say? That's what I was wondering, too. <laughs> there's no putting anything past you. Information is easy to come by if you know how. And I always stay up to date. I'm not saying you have an inside man, are you? I wouldn't take that much of a risk. I'm just doing the same as you. Here, this is how. This is a Collectopedia card. I told you, didn't I? I came up with them. Did you think I could only see my own army's information? Wait, but... Wait... You're saying that you leaked secret Agnes tech to get Kevis to use it as well? Huh, at the time, I just thought we got really lucky. And all along, it was a ploy to dig up enemy intel? I have to say, I'm impressed. The important part comes after that. While analyzing the flow of resources, I realize that this war is almost perfectly balanced. Hi, Kim. You've missed the, the entire three and a half hour stream. Even though I texted you when it started. Almost like it doesn't want to end. Which is to say, there's someone orchestrating the war from behind the scenes. You had a bad headache. Ouch. I know that feeling. I was there last week. When you think about rules, you have to realize that they are closely entangled with the intentions of whoever set them. Your words, Alexandria. This is what you're talking about, isn't it? You worked out that much. You didn't exactly try and blow the whistle, did you? What else could I do? What could anybody have done, even if they had known? Then Ouroboros appeared. World's enemy. Enemy, enemy of one's enemy is one's friend, right? I'm glad you understand. I hope you're friendly with your a actions as well as your words. Old as ever. Okay, how about this? I'll show you the storehouse, the heart of Colony Iota itself. Take whatever supplies you need and use them as you will. Fair? Saying we have final say over resource distribution. Well, you'll have to discuss the particulars of storehouse management with Shell, but yes. I appreciate the sentiment, but we wouldn't feel right. Whoops, sorry pinged her. Already? She doesn't have much spare time, so you'd better get hustling. Storehouse is a bit hard to give directions to, so just... First, just head to Taurus Hollow. Let's talk to Ryza at the entrance, and he'll let you in. Uh, about that. Yeah, I try to text as many people as I can. I know that you keep an eye out for the notification that I went live. So, as far as, like, like, actually texting, you're, like, one of the last people that I will text, because I know you'll be here on your own. A new location. Uh, 
So what have you missed? We finished teach his teachers. Uh, teach can now level up past uh, ten. Um, done a fair bit of exploring today up over here mostly. Uh, we started more potato quests. Wow, we're really not far from Colony 4. You itching to get wrecked. Yes. No rain. Did not need rain. We gave the potatoes to Colony 4. Then we beat up Alexandria, beat up another console, and uh, now we're figuring out how to divvy up resources. And this is probably going to be the last quest I do this stream. Just looking at the time, it's probably a good idea for me to stop soon. That and it's getting... gotten very hot in here, even with the uh, window open to let some of the heat out. Yeah, he's angry because we we beat him up. Is all. Still cute though, just like an Arden. Are you sure about that? He mad at us. Riza, let's chat. You're scaring Santa. Sorry, not a talker. Oh, I see. You were the monsters. Monsters? Our house is a little way out from here. A little infestation is to be expected. Hard to find, and the monsters save on guard duties. You say they're the perfect anti-theft device. Risky business. But, right, I see. We'll be careful. Ask Shell. And Dame Alex. Yes? Be nice. I'm nice. You don't have to tell me. Don't bother yourself with me. Come on then, let's get moving. Yeah, everybody in Colony Iota calls her Dame Alex and not Commander. He was, uh... He made a deal with Mobius to basically have a new life. And yes, he has some blood on his hands. Tiny, tiny. 
a bit, right? We should take good care of that. Him? Yes. Who are you referring to? Can't mean Gray. You're thinking of Zeon. I could see it. The whitest of white men. Yeah. 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 Is that what I think it is? I did, in fact, get a little turned around. Because I got distracted by shiny thing. Good thing I'm in my late 60s and these 40, uh, level 40 fuckers are not bothering me. Means I can actually, like, see what I'm doing and not have to stop every three seconds to fight something. sky looks weird there with the draw distance making everything look blue thank you cloud stash. So oh, this is the storehouse. Queen's flapping wings. All this stuff is yours? Yep, and we're not at full capacity. Let me introduce you. This is Shell, our storehouse manager extraordinaire. So Shell, everything should be as previously discussed. As of now, our friends here are on resource distribution. And with me, it needs to be done. The more surveillance, the better. Who's surveilling who? All of you surveilling me, of course. When you're living under the flame clock, your allies and enemies are clear. Whoever you could get the fire from is your enemy. Simple as that. But we can't live by those rules anymore. Enemies and allies. 
can get changed depending on you yourself. That's the difficulty, isn't it? Forcing conflict is just one effect of the flame clock. Can we also say that the flame clocks controlled our behavior? That's it. Time's ripe for traitors to emerge. So it's dangerous for any one person to hold too much power. Rest in peace! Do you doubt your old comrades that much? Of course I don't doubt them. I know they can get whatever job done. We're all pretty brilliant here. So the only thing that counts is your eyes is in your eyes is ability. Let me ask you then. Would you trust some researcher sat at their desk all day with some manual labor? Would you put a soldier who couldn't pilot a bathtub in the, the cockpit of a Levinus? Personal skill is what counts in tactics. As long as you believe in that, that's enough. Does anyone disagree? Alexandria, you... She's the right pain, isn't she? Give it a rest, Shell. But I think it's a wise assessment. No one knows how things are going to change. Keep an eye on me or not. I'm with Dame Alex, that's all. You really care for Alexandria, don't you? I do, a lot. I'm 10th term. Not got much time left. Dame Alex needs more allies than, needs allies more than anything. Please, be good to her. You shouldn't talk like that. What about what time you have left? I suppose you're right. Didn't mean to talk for this long. Anyway, we've got Colony 4's resources. First, just gotta do this. Buy distribution authorization granted. What was that? You've got access rights to the goods. You could think of it as unlocking a new function in, of the Collectipedia cards. You really packed it with features, didn't you? Nice to see you surprised. This isn't surprise, it's shock. It's pretty user-friendly, just name the commander of the colony you want to send to. Then just pick your supplies and done. Colony 4's commander. No need to worry. It's all been arranged with Boliaris, the acting commander. You can use his name in this instance. It's easier to pick it up by doing, to be honest. Give it a go. Colony Iota Goods, 5. I see some relations have changed. The Collectopedia card to send over supplies to Colony 4. How do I? Quests. There we go. Yo, you've got supplies you could send us, right? Thanks in advance. This will keep Colony 4 stable for the time being. While well, I'm here. We just have to persevere. It's looking complete. Some soldiers don't react well to seeds, so let's see how these fare. That's all of them. It's looking complete. Ma'am? Must have worked up a sweat gathering all that wood. Thanks. Hey, it's C Mimi. don't have any other colony commanders right now. Yep, everything went through no problem. Got authority over about half of the resources in this room. Now you divvy it up is absolutely up to you. Trusting you to distribute it according to the common good. Common what now? Each colony according to its need, isn't it? If we scratch their back, they'll scratch ours in future. It's like an investment that'll pay dividends to us later. Yes, you're right. See me off. I forgot. I'm surprised there's no, like, container here. I'd like you to help Colony and I build up a surplus of supplies. Oh, oh. I have a supplies request for you, if that's alright. 
Hey, you've got plenty of supplies. Don't be greedy. Share them. So who's the commander since Valdi is with you? Uh, I forget his name. But we did meet him. Supplies. Well, then I do have one little request for you. The state of Lambda Supplies isn't looking too good at the moment. How many do we have? Colony Iota Goods, 15. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, alright. Well, first off, I am absolutely sending to Juniper because I know Juniper needs. That's all of them. Thank you all for the help you've given us. What was wrong with Colony 4 that the commander isn't there anymore? Uh, the commander with his Ethel. Who is currently a small child. Looks like colony relations have changed. We're quite well traveled by now, huh? Fly drop and a quest. I ain't fucking with that right now. Water and water and water, water, water and water and water, water, water and water and water. One more. Water and water and water, water, 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 water and water and water, water and water and water and water. Okay, we're gonna warp back to Colony Iota. Um, and then I'm gonna call it here. I don't currently have any more time to play today, but with any luck, there will be a stream tomorrow night, Wednesday night, in my time zone. <sighs> I do have something for you, though. Huh? And that is hey, a vlog. This? I will grab you the link in just a moment. Tomorrow is the Vengeance Saga livestream. The what? Alright, here's the link to the vlog. Have fun.
How do I pin? How do I pin a message in chat? I don't remember. Anyway, there is a vlog released. I'm going to call it here. Thank you all for watching. The next stream will probably be tomorrow night. If not, I'll keep you posted. See you guys whenever the next one is. Most of the